So hey guys, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Chama Chats video podcast edition. So by the title, we're going to be talking about Kim K removing her BBL and what does this actually mean? So I actually have done this video before and I talked about why she did it and the significance of how it fits with how society views the shape of a woman's body in regards to race. In this video, I do want to touch on both sides of those topics, but I also want to speak more on how this molds the imagery she's trying to eradicate. I feel like there's a lot of ironic occurrences, which isn't a surprise because all of the Kardashians move in a very calculated way. But it's obvious that Kim Kardashian is really going hard in her attempt for this reputation and perception change. I think I have a love-hate relationship with Kim K. In certain instances, I like what she does. I respect the fact that she was able to build this empire. And I think her placement in pop culture is iconic and historic. On the other hand, I do think that she's very tone deaf. She's offensively calculated. And the way how she's obtained a lot of her relevance is very questionable. Recently, a post went viral showcasing the end of the Kim K BBL era, and many of you reached out to me asking my opinions on it. I think it's very interesting because it's something that is so obvious that she's trying to do in a very hush-hush and private way, but Kim, we're on that ass, literally. So I've broken this video down into two main talking points, so let's get right into this video. So point number one is answering the question, why did she get this reduction? I think this question is pretty self-explanatory, but there's so many reasons why, and it's not just because Kim K is a trendsetter. It's because everything in the media moves so fast and revolves around what people think is trendy. I think over the last few years, there has been severe conversations about BBLs and just the whole entire appeal of them, what they mean, the types of people who get them and how they have been marketed to young women globally. We all know that a BBL, which stands for a Brazilian butt lift, is a surgical enhancement that takes fat from unwanted areas such as the stomach, midriff, back, and arms and relocates it to areas where fat density is lacking. Well, at least that's what it's supposed to be for. But a lot of women have done this to make their butts bigger and essentially look more sexually pleasing to both men and women. So I think other than the obvious fact that she got this reduction because she is divorced from a black man, probably tired of infiltrating black culture and pretty much reap the benefits of looking ambiguous all while being a white woman. I think the other half of it is that there is so much education about the dangers of a BBL and part of the Kardashian brand is being clean and classic and shifting as we speak. I see they are less overtly sexual and trying to channel it into being modestly sexual because almost all of them have kids now, they're getting older and they want to appeal to an audience that is a new target area than before. Kim K originally appealed to both both an audience of black and white young women between the ages of 18 and 29 who had an interest in everything pop culture from the fashion, beauty, hair, and the overall physique of a woman's body. Those interests can be dwindled down into being considered vain. People that cared way too much about vanity. That's her fan base. And as much as she is still very vain, she's trying to transition into a respectable middle-aged woman and appeal to an older white audience of women who are mothers and still have a certain interest in how they look, but in a more modest fashion. I don't think the word modest and Kim Kardashian can exist in the same sentence, but this is now her attempt. So to answer why she got this reduction, it's because she's also reducing many things about herself. She's reducing how hard she has been deep fried in black culture. She's reducing how much of a sex icon she was during her prime years of her career. She's reducing how much she appeals to the young single woman versus now wanting the respect of people in an older age group. And these reductions are showing themselves in a physical manner as well. It's obvious that Kim is someone who pays attention to trends and adapts to them. And I'm sure I can say that everyone does, whether you're an influencer, a celebrity, or a regular civilian. But her brand is adapting to what's going on around her. And let's be real, a lot of the reason why she's doing this is because she's aging. Even in her recent Met Gala look, I couldn't help but notice how much she is aging and how she is starting to really look her age. And like we always say, black doesn't crack. And Kim is realizing that at the age of 41 years old, that she is not a part of the black doesn't crack crew. So all of these things that she has done to her body to maintain her image that is recognized in the black community through urban pop culture is starting to catch up with her genetically. Honestly, if she kept going at the rate that she had been going, she would be looking like Madonna, 70 plus years old, trying to look 30 years old. And let's be real, that would be ridiculous. So Kim is being a lot smarter by minimizing and reducing a lot of the things that she did in her younger years to appeal to a different audience, but to also look reasonable within her age group now. I think ageism plays a big part in why she doing this because her target audience is not static. It's very dynamic, meaning it changes and it moves on to the next thing and it loses interest in what they could care about. And of course, people are going to care about Kim K. She's a pop culture icon, but most of the people who cared back when 
they were new and she was the hottest thing since sliced bread have either lost interest, grown up to care about other things, or have matured into subject matters and interests that are no longer what Kim Kardashian has been known for. The idea of being super vain, very materialistic, and being the king of the mountain top bitch in Hollywood does not really have much of an importance as it once did to both Kim K and the fan base that she acquired all of these years. Simply said, people are moving on and Kim is grasping for a way to stay appropriately relevant and tied to what her main image is, but also slide into a new era of her overall career. Now, point number two is how this plays into her new desired perception. So it's obvious that Kim K has been milking black culture for everything it has to keep her relevant and to make money. And I wouldn't say that she's done. She's just one, doing it in a less obvious magnitude. And two, realizing that she's been called out for it so many times within the last few years that she is toning it down before she becomes obsolete. Kim Kardashian is actually known to be a very nice person. I remember going on a Hollywood tour back in 2017 and our tour guide told us that the nicest celebrity is Kim Kardashian. Like that's what a lot of people say. So I think she really and truly chooses not to offend people blatantly, but she definitely snakes and slithers in the grass behind the scenes with the intent, which people have been calling her out for nonstop. See, when she first came out, she got away with a lot because people weren't as aware or smart and didn't have the platforms to speak on the real. But now that everyone has a voice, you can't get away with being offensive, appropriation, stealing from other creatives, or any type of malicious actions, whether you're a celebrity or not. You're gonna get called out these days and Kim K has been the brunt of a lot of these headlines and scandals. I think we will get to a point where people really don't care about the Kardashians. It's just gonna take a little bit, but the beginning of their end has already begun and they have to know that they're losing relevancy. So how this plays into their desired perception is that they want to be seen solely as important in the white media as they are in the black media. If you think about blogs like The Shade Room, Hollywood Unlocked, and The Neighborhood Talk, all of these different platforms are pretty much geared towards a black audience, but they often feature the Kardashians as the one white subject. They talk about Gucci Mane and Lil Baby and K. Michelle and Serena Williams and Odell Beckham Jr. and these random Instagram models, and then the Kardashians. The Kardashians are like the exception to the rule because they've been able to infiltrate black spaces so much that we still speak about them in these black spaces. As much as I believe in gatekeeping, I only do to a certain extent in regards to this. Unpopular opinion, I don't think the Kardashians should be exempt from being discussed in the black media because they attach themselves to black men that are discussed in black media. So it's not like they go together like peanut butter and jelly, but they are definitely a side dish and or accompanied into this space by way of the black men that they date. So those said black men are the reason for this. Now, let's bring up the fact that she now dates 28-year-old comedian Pete Davidson, who is a white male celebrity. It goes hand in hand because she doesn't have to do that much physically in the white community to be respected and revered. I mean, nobody expects a white girl to have a big fat booty anyway. So this newfound perception that she's desiring is going to be fueled by that notion. The stereotype is black girls have big booties, white girls have no booties, and Kim K has found her happy medium that pleases both sides because her perception is that she wants to appeal to both races of people. And in a way, it's not bad to move like that because of her being married to a black man and dating black men for so long, but also still being a white woman. But now that she has gone so public and deep into this relationship with Pete, she's also altering herself to exemplify her new interest in her relationship. Kim Kardashian is amused to whoever she's dating. She even said that she's a relationship kind of girl. And and she adapts to whomever she's with. So like I've said before on this channel, I told you I used to watch all of the Kardashian seasons, spinoffs, episodes, and pretty much watched everything up until about 2015 when I went to college and didn't have no cable. And when she was dating NFL star Reggie Bush, she was pretty much the typical athlete girlfriend. I remember she made a calendar and specifically had it themed for him. And she was very into being the athlete girlfriend. Of course, there were other men that she dated in between Reggie Bush and Kanye. But when she got with Kanye, she also became his muse and allowed Kanye to dress her in the way how he wanted and also acted in the way that he wanted. Now she's doing the same thing with Pete. So this all plays into her new desired perception because she doesn't want to be seen as the rapper wife or the accessory to the big name rapper like before. She wants to be the simple, dainty, non-vulgar and have a level of medium modesty because of the new man she's dating and because she's just past her phase of twinkling her toes in the black water. All in all, this woman is grown and can do whatever she wants, but at the same 
time. I think the Kardashians know that people have caught on to their scheme and their method and people either call them out for it or just don't pay them as much mind as they used to because it's like we've all cracked the code. There's no mysteriousness and there's no more question of how did her body get this way or how are they able to make all of this money? I mean, we pretty much know the answers now. They've been able to uphold that mystery for over a decade and people are finally realizing what it is. I actually think the Kardashians are falling off and I low-key agree with them altering themselves to tone it down because the gig is up, okay? We'll just have to see where this goes, if she keeps this new look, if she stays with Pete, which I'm sure she won't, and how they will continue to adapt to pop culture trends moving into their 40s and 50s and as their brand relevance dwindles as the future goes on. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please let me know your commentary on my commentary down below. What do you think? What do you know? Let me know. Also, do not forget to stream my song Ballin'. It is out on all platforms. I will link it and pin it down below for you to go listen to the song and watch the video. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Start with me and I'm gonna stop it. I be stepping, crackle, popping. Yeah, I got the juice, making bands like the Beatles. And they call me queen because I always keep it regal. Flavor on your song, edge, I'm just a teaspoon. Hey, it's just my students, it's a queen, I'm a preschool. Yeah, get it done, I'm the one.